iPod. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPod Touch second generation um, untethered. So you can see there the speaker, a nice Xbox thing there. I'm um, sorry, if you can listen. Just like the Xbox. And I've got Cydia down there and all that kind of stuff. I click it. And just like Xbox. What I'll be doing it on today is my friend's one. So what you want to do is you want to plug it into your iTunes. Well, before we plug it in, um, come here, search up, just type in A, um, and open up Activity Monitor. And once you do that, go down to iTunes. I'll do it. I'm pretty sure I've already done this, so it won't work for me. It will say iTunes Helper somewhere. Then you gotta click it, I'll just and then you go quit process and it'll say force quit, cancel and quit. Just do normal quit, not force quit. So once you've done that, um you should oh by the way you have to download the um thing and mega upload in my description over there. And so you get this folder here, Ponage. This will come with if you open it up. Click open custom readme, and this is it here. So, once you've done that, um, open up terminal and we want to copy and paste the first one in. Um, yep, there we go. Once you do that, before you go into the next one, uh, put this into DFU mode. So, oh, by the way, you have to have this plugged in before you do that one. So, after the activity monitor. And then hold both of these down for 10 seconds. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what I did is I held both of these down for 10 seconds, then let go of this and counted this down for 10 seconds, and then you're done for that. Then it's in DFU mode. So then you want to copy and paste this one, the next one. There we go. By the way, I did not make this package. It's all custom package. Antman872 made this. Give up to him, he's the man. Yeah. I uh, subscribed to his channel. He's pretty man. Uh, so then you... Click this one in, then enter. Oh no. Then you have to wait till it's connected. Hold on. Just putting it back in DFU mode because I didn't put it in properly, so. See if this works. There we go. And if you did it properly, it'll come up with that. It says DFU, and that means you're in DFU mode, obviously. So you have to wait till it's connected, then copy and paste this one, and shove that one in. And yep, then that should come up. Oh, once you do that one, it should come up white screen. If it doesn't, you've done something wrong. Um, just close the window and type it again if it doesn't do that. By the way, that's if any problems go wrong. So then, control this one. Then, make sure it's correct. Enter. Connecting. Just wait till it does that. And then, what you want to do is you want to type the next one. We'll get it. Um, then, control V. And, should do it like that. Exactly. Remember, it's still white. For this next one, I had some problems with it. Just type it and don't copy and paste it. And what it should do is go white, black, then white. So just flick on, blink. And let's hope it does that. If it doesn't, then you guys have to try. So, one of those. Small i. B. S. S. 2. 2. 1. P. W. N. Dot. DFU. Now that's done. Let's see if this works. There we go. I did it. Ah, uh, cool. 
Um, after that, you gotta open up iTunes and restore. Um, you know the iPod. So this is how you do it. Uh, oh, by the way, just um, quit others. Then go iTunes. All right, should still be white. And all right, there we go. Um, here it comes. It says okay. So what you want to do is sorry, cancel. All right, hover over this. Then press where it says this is on a Mac, by the way. Yeah, obviously. And then you hold you hold down where it says Option and Alt. Hold down that button. Then press Restore. It should come up with this. So what you want to go is go into your desktop with a ponage folder. Is click into ponage. Then click on this untethered IPSW dot IPSW. Click on that. Open. Uh, extracting software, this might take a little bit and once it extracts then this should go on to a normal screen where it, you know, uploads something, whatever so let's hope this works um, just to show you on the um, iPod Touch 2G um, usually if you, you know, jailbreak uh, iPhones or something uh, won't come with installer. This one only comes with Cydia and doesn't come with installer. So what you want to do is go into Cydia, download a thing called SOS iPhone. Then you want to go click on to and find installer and then download that. So yeah. Um just need to here we go. Oh by the way, it's um you know doing this now. So if this doesn't come out, you've done something wrong, and you need to start the whole process over again. And yeah, let's see, it's maybe down there now. Should be done in a minute. Just hold on. So I'm just turning my bit, my iPod on. I mean my Xbox. So it should be doing this. It might take a little while, so I'm just gonna put it down. And I will have I do have videos on, you know, how to use it. All works with the iPod. And what I recommend you download practically straight away. Oh, you need terminal to sync. I mean, uh, what's it called? Um, well, connect wireless here. I can't remember what it's called. SSA, it's on the tip of my tongue. And thing called categories here. So if I click that, it says apps for me. And then I have all my apps inside of it. Not much, because you know, I'm not too bothered about apps at the moment. So yeah, that's called categories. If you didn't know that, um, I recommend V Wallpaper. Uh, this thing, can't remember what it's called. Make it mine. That's it. You just type in your message there and click banner. And see, mine says Lockie's iPods because that's my name, obviously. And then over here, I just put Apple Carrier. And yeah. Let's see how this iPod's done. On the computer, it will go like that much faster than this, obviously. And then once that's fully done, this is fully done. Should come up with, and now that come up. And I could just go OK. And let's just wait till this comes up and I'll end the video. Talk about stuff like that. Slide to unlock, and guess what? Dismiss. You got City there for you. Now, this is the untethered one, so you can turn it off, turn it back on, does nothing. And yeah.